guys, it's me, Wendy from Weeby Dolls, and I'm here with little Bo. Bo is the Elfie Sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles, and he is the newest baby in my collection. Um, I just have not had a whole lot of time to bond with him yet or to spend any time with him, um, you know, holding him or changing him or anything, so I decided to change him today into this little outfit. And um, it's funny because Mira was teasing me when she heard his name was Bo um, and asked me, does that mean he's going to wear bow ties all the time? <laughs> and I said, no, of course not, but maybe. <laughs> I do love a little bow tie. No, he won't all the time, but uh, I had to put this outfit on him. It's super cute. It is a sweet little, it's like a little jogging suit type of uh, material, uh, little sweatpants, and, and then the top part has a little, it's a little white onesie with a little vest with the same uh, jogging suit material with little um, wooden, look looks like wooden buttons, but they're plastic, and a little bow tie. So it's kind of fancy, but it's really comfy. And I think for a real baby, uh, especially a newborn size, this would be such a wonderful little church outfit. Um, although I, I find a lot of people Nowadays, at least in our church, the people having babies, they don't come to church for like a month or so after they have their baby. Man, when I had mine, I never missed a service, and I'm not even exaggerating. Um, I don't think that I was probably right in forcing myself to go out so early. Um, it's just, I didn't know any better. That's just what I did, and uh, I probably did contribute somewhat to my postpartum depression issues that I had with especially my um, third child. I did have it some with my second, but not nearly as bad as with my third. And uh, I think part of it is I just pushed myself too much too fast. Expected, you know, too many things to be perfect and, and instead of giving myself grace when I had just given birth, you know. And so, but anyhow, I did take my children to church right away, um, days after giving birth, and I would dress them right up to the nines when I, we went to church. Um, little suits and bow ties, and <laughs> it was just kind of ridiculous when I think back. But that's, that's how we did. <laughs> um, and I mean, I enjoyed it too. I enjoyed finding little outfits and showing the babies off and all of that stuff, but it did put a lot of stress you know, on me because babies puke and they poop through and you're like, oh, I wanted to wear this outfit. But anyways, I thought I would come on and do a little devotion because I didn't, I haven't done devotion in a couple of weeks for various reasons. I missed yesterday and it was just a busy day and uh, I didn't want to go another week without sharing a little thought with you guys. And this is just really um, quick thought that I wanted to share and the title is you are beautiful and I call this my birthday devotion because um, it's in a book that I have had some of my devotions that I have written in the past published in and they put this particular one for my birthday and so every year for my birthday or around my birthday I will read it out for you guys I have done that at least the last two years I think but, you know, nobody really remembers from year to year what I say. So, <laughs> if they do, well, that's a little creepy. But, um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, it's kind of cool if someone did remember that I read this particular devotion. But it says, you are beautiful. And First Peter 3, verse 3 and 4 says, Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as braided hair and the wearing of gold jewelry and fine clothes. Instead, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. Usually when I do this devotion, I have a little girl baby because we're talking about beauty and stuff like that, but because Bo is my newest baby. And also the name Bo means beautiful or handsome in French. I decided to bring him into this devotion as well because I believe that not only women struggle with self-esteem and not always feeling, you know, their most beautiful, 
but I, I think guys can as well at times struggle with those thoughts. And I grew up thinking that I was literally the ugliest girl on all the earth. And all I ever wanted was to be like the pretty girls. And when my husband and I started dating, he would tell me I was beautiful and I didn't believe him. I just felt so plain. My forehead was too big. I have big, I have freckles. My eyelashes were not long enough. In fact, you can barely see them. They're very, very light. And my hair, it was red. I didn't like having red hair when I was younger. And now, I love it. You all know this. I felt bad for desiring so much to be pretty. I felt like I must get rid of this vanity and pride in me. I was ashamed of it. I was ashamed of desiring to be pretty. Because I was taught that that was vanity. And one time we went camping. This was back when we had our old camper. Our, our um, hybrid camper, I guess they would call it. It was like a hard top camper and then the sides opened out. Uh, kind of like, it looked like a tent trailer on the sides, but a real camper in the middle. <laughs> we used to have a camper like that, but then we outgrew it. We got too many foster kids and, and it, we just didn't have room for everybody in it, so we sold it. But one time we were camping by a beautiful, pristine lake. And every day I would grab a book and I would set up my hammock between two trees near the edge of the lake. Everywhere my eyes could see was beauty. Sapphires and emeralds danced on the shimmering lake as the waves soothed my tired soul. Gorgeous sunsets made my heart sing for joy. Diamond stars sparkled in the black velvet sky. I felt like God was wooing me closer to him through the beauty of this glorious land. And I saw a God who loves beautiful things. And I suddenly realized that God put this desire in us to be beautiful. This desire is a God thing because God is beauty. God has a purpose for beauty. When we see beautiful things, they bring us joy. We know this with our collections. When they are beautiful, when we have beautiful things around us, when we have our beautiful dolls around us, it brings us joy. It is calming. Beauty is calming. The beauty of a woman, though, is far, far more than hair and nails and pretty clothes. It's far, far more than makeup and a pretty face. Beauty is the very essence of her. It is what radiates from within. And when a woman is filled with the Holy Ghost, she will take on a glow that money cannot buy and no pharmaceutical company can ever hope to imitate. When a woman knows deep within her very being that God thinks she is beautiful and he sees her as worthy, she exudes a sense of calm and confidence that is soothing to those around her. She radiates peace, love, and joy so that others can breathe the fresh air of the love of God. Lord, I want to stop striving and just let your beauty flow out of me that the world will see you. You are beautiful. I just wanted to share that message with you guys today. I feel like somebody needs to hear that. I need to hear that. I am beautiful. You are beautiful. And the more we become like Jesus, the more beautiful we will become. I thank you guys for listening and watching and looking at this little guy and enjoying him with me. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.